So guys, we're here. We're about to enter into the phase when we finally maybe get to kick Lord Buckethead, Buckethead's ass. Damn it, I can't even think straight while planning how I'm going to kick his ass. Doesn't matter how I'm going to do it, but I am going to do it. First, we take a rest. Ah, apparently there are also a few on the ground. Agent Galen? Holy... What did they do to him? You bastard, you're gonna pay! Jedi's job, not yours. Look, these are tougher than I thought. Not much left to me, is there? Uh, not Please really, no. Wounds. There's nothing we can do for you. Oh. No regrets. This was my choice. <laughs> Fought bravely. Be remembered as a hero, Galen. That's a promise. I didn't take this job for the glory. Fine, well, I'll make sure you will. You didn't say I'm counting on you, yet it does say it in the subtitle. Well, let's go confront Lord Buckethead, shall we? How far is he? Ah, he's not that far. They're giving me quite a battle arena. Hey, look. He used it on himself, didn't he? He did, didn't he? He used it on himself. Yeah, pretty much. He did. You're strong to have made it this far, but not strong I enough. had a feeling he would use it on himself, more actually. Than Sith now. Much more. Well, to He's me, you're still tall. Lord Bucket. I'll give him that. Remarkable technology. So versatile. I just calculated 17 different ways to end your life. I'll only need one for you, dude. All that hardware won't save you from me. I've run the numbers. You overestimate your chances. You but underestimate you my chances. You understand what true power feels like. Perhaps I'll add you to my army after all. Darth Angron would appreciate that. You sure about that, I dude? He wants me dead for killing his son. I don't think he's going to be appreciated when I, I become your little... Feelings. Surrender or dice. Ah, screw it. Prepare to become scrap metal, you twisted freak. Oh! That would be... Oh, yeah, that's how a Sith fight you. Cheap. Let's see how you like this, you bastard. I've got a health pack. You maybe got one, but I got a health pack. Oh yeah, we're gonna play like that, huh? Well, I got that a little bit. Now, Master Strike will finish you off! Oh, God damn it. Why won't you go now? Just die. Thank you. Yeah, that bastard. Yeah, great timing, guys. Showed up just perfectly. Why do they always show up after you beat the bad guy? Don't look so surprised. It's our job to follow people. Yeah, it would have been Agent great if Diaz you just planted uh, a tracker on you back at headquarters. Helped Standard me during that fight. Procedure. No offense intended. Would have been here sooner, but getting into Imperial territory without a lightsaber is complicated. Better late than never. Glad I don't have to hold this base by myself. We won't be staying long. Oh, this is Black boom. Star Squad, a special operations team. General Varsuthra pulled in a favor with General Garza. Got him here quick. We're Good demolishing this location. Make sure the enemy can't recover anything useful. Okay. Sir, I've located the Power Guard files, including notes on how the Sith controlled them. Orders? Destroy the whole project. Like I said, I'm gonna be the... the uh, good guy. That technology is too horrible to exist. Erase the data. 
I disagree, but I'm ready to be done with this. Go ahead, Agent Diaz. You should check in with General Varsuthra. We'll be right behind you. Just need to plant the incendiary charges. Okay, see you later. It was interesting working with you. Good luck. I'll take that as a compliment. Finally got this job finished here. I can finally leave this hell hole of a planet. Well, guys, then let's get back to the ship and get this over with. Maybe finally we'll be able to conclude chapter two and uh, uh, chapter one and continue on to chapter two. Fight off Darth Piss Hole. See you later, guys. Well, guys, we're back on my ship. We took care of Lord Buckethead. And now let's see what kind of... I'm expecting an unexpected threat appearing or anything of the sorts. I just have a feeling this isn't going to end in my favor. It we never narrowly does. escaped a major disaster, General. But a lot of good people died. Bad enough losing Chief Raikin and so many agents, but Galen, we'd worked together for years. Uh, this turned from happen. Special Agent Tander. His team eradicated all trace of what happened at that Sith base. Good to know. Thank you for destroying the Power Guard files. Approving that project was the biggest mistake of my career. Learn from what happened. Never let fear compromise your ideals. If only it were that simple. It the is! The public's position on Nar Shada is precarious at best. Better for everyone if this operation remains classified. Deal. I'm sealing all records of what happened here. You, me, and the SIS are the only ones who know the full story. Excellent plan. Don't worry. I'm not planning to discuss this with the Jedi Council. It's for the best. Thank you. I know you're probably exhausted, but the enemy hasn't given up. Not There's easily. a surprise. A major tactical advantage has just opened up, but you have to act quickly. What? One of Darth Angrel's closest advisors, Admiral Hacklin, asked us for asylum. He wants to defect. Huh? Hacklin yeah, was right. Angrel when he interrogated me on Ord Mantell. They seemed chummy. What changed? I'm not sure, but the Admiral is on the run. There are unconfirmed reports Hacklin's are into Deathmark. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. Sounds suspicious. One of Darth Angrel's top men turned traitor? It's too convenient. Exactly. This is obviously a trap. No Admiral shit. Admiral would be the first high-ranking Imperial to switch sides. Until we know otherwise, we have to believe this is real. Oh, uh, this is going to end Hero so badly. obviously made an impression on the Admiral at Ord Mantell. He says he'll only surrender to her. Yeah, right. I have a bad feeling about this. No shit. It's time to negotiate. Admiral Hacklin's expecting you to, and no one else. Told him to wait for you at an old asteroid mining facility. I'm uploading the coordinates now. Send warships. Surround to... this asteroid mine with Republic cruisers. If this is a trap, I don't want the enemy escaping. Too risky. The admiral might mistake it for hostile action and bolt. Ah. Mining facility Why is small. Why can't anybody ever this is a trap. take my uh, suggestions into consideration? Be careful out there. I hate these people. Why can't people ever agree with me? Oh, now I get something. <laughs> I don't need that anymore. We'll just get whatever I can get my hands on. Which is this? Hmm. So that's pretty much everything about that. So let's go find this dude. Is anyone on my ship willing to talk? Have a little Master, chat with me. I've marked the best escape pod for your sole use. I, of course, will go down with the ship. Good to know. Uh, let's see if anybody wants to discuss anything. Nope. Oh. Uh, why doesn't anyone want to have a nice chat with me? If I had something to say, I wouldn't hold back. You know me. Yes, I do. Fine. We'll do this immediately. Whatever else I got to do can wait. I'll make this into a entire video just for the fun of you guys. I'd like to annoy people. Again, I uh, I have proclaimed myself the annoying Dutchman. So where is this guy? The defector. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. And I'm and I'm Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> So it's abandoned. 
Oh, this is so a trap. Anyone who says it isn't needs, needs, to, get it, needs to get his brain fixed. Jumping into hyperspace. Jesus, almost crashed into the damn thing. Okay, let's just get this over with. Uh, exiting ship. I so have a bad feeling about this. But since we have a moment to wait, let's give me my current opinion about Star Wars. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's, in some ways, I wouldn't say it's better than WoW, but it certainly has refined some of the points that WoW is still very, very bad at. First of all, character animation in combat is way more diverse. Secondly, a way better... Secondly, of course, no more quest text. Just one conversation after the other. It's just great. Some people are going to say it just prolongs the whole quest text, but it's much more interesting this way, especially when you get to make choices. But uh, enough about that right now. Let's get back to business. So we're, we've arrived at the mining facility. So where do we go? A medical droid? Oh. Whoa, 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 wait. A medical droid? On a mining facility? Whatever, dude. Uh, this stinks. This reeks of a trap, dude. It's obvious. Anyone who says it isn't... Seriously, like I said before, you need to get your brain checked if you didn't. There he is. Wait, no, no that's not the Admiral. No, this was. I knew this was too good to be true. Greetings, I am Valis. Your quick response is most appreciated. Hi, Hawk. Please forgive the deception. Admiral Hacklin remains Darth Angrel's faithful servant. His name simply made this meeting convenient. Like this is a He's surprise. A Sith. Kill him. Now, really, is that any way to treat your family? Wait, whoa, 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 what? What the hell's going on here? Family? Kira, you know this man? What the hell's going on here? Him. He's trying to confuse you. Us. Your Padawan isn't who you think. Huh? She's no Jedi. Well, she looks like one She's to me. She's a child of the Emperor. Say what? Like me. And it's time she returned to our father's warm embrace. Yeah, right. Like, I'm gonna believe that. <laughs> You're lying. Kira is my Padawan. If that were true, I'd know it. Deception comes easily to our family. Oh, the shut up, The dark side runs strong in us. Ugh. I'm not a Sith. Don't let him turn you against me. We can defeat him. Together. We have no quarrel, Jedi. Return to your ship, and let Kira come home. The Emperor wills it. No, she stays with me. I like her. It doesn't matter where she came from. She's my Padawan. Tell our father not to expect any calls or letters. There's no escaping your destiny, Kira. Thanks to your little brush with Darth Angrel, the Emperor knows you're alive. And... Where to find you? Then I'll keep no her safe. There's no go, way the Emperor is getting his hands on her. You. He sees you right now, and he wants you back. Shut I'd up, you son of a bitch! A purple lightsaber? What so the? So be it, sister. You're going to die. Badly. Dude, that guy's got one hell of a. Hey, 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 stop that, you... Oh, I got a little trick for you. I'm around like that. Hey, hey, ho, hey, ho! Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not getting away with this. You... Stop it! I'm going to put you out of your... When I'm through with you, they're going to have to put you back to... Get her in pieces! Could you please stop that? You! Ugh. This guy is really throwing people around, isn't he? 
Seriously? Did he just... I can't believe the bastard actually beat me. No way. Time for payback. That's not the Jedi way. I don't give a shit. This guy's... This dude's gonna die one way or the other. I'm gonna activate Call on the Force immediately once I get ready for it. Why? A healing over time ability in these kind of situations is gonna really work in my advantage. This bastard's tougher than he looks. I'm doing everything I can, but apparently it's not enough. First of all, we're putting a diss on her. This time, I have the upper hand. So we charge in. Could you please? You're Could done. You? For God's sake! No! Did she land? Where the hell did she? Oh, there she is. I knew this was a trap. For Thanks the for the assist. I mean, anybody can figure that out. Let's see if this belt is any better for her. Not that thing, but the belt. There it is. Uh. That shows. Yeah, it's definitely better. So we're gonna give it to her. She can use a new belt. Well, there was the big surprise. It was a trap. Now let's get the hell out of here. You can put away the lightsaber. He's dead. It's no surprise that it was a trap. Come on. He doesn't even have to be Sif to expect. You don't even. You don't even the, the enemy didn't even have to be a Sif to figure that one out. Let's get back on the ship and on to that hollow terminal to talk about this. <sighs> it, again, this is something I really like about Star Wars The Old Republic over World of Warcraft. It's got a way more personal reason for you to play. That was the curtain I just opened. I have certain reasons for keeping it closed sometimes. Sunlight shines at the screen and it fucks it up. I see more of myself than in my screen than the game itself. That's just annoying. Providing you with the highest level of service is my greatest pleasure, Master. Apparently, and I'm, I'm not, not just supposed to use to this that. thing. That's no. Nope. Okay, this was a real big. This wasn't a big of a surprise, to be honest. Oh, wrong direction. I am still recording, right? Yeah, I think I am. <laughs> Stupid question to ask. That's gonna do good for my reputation on YouTube. So let's use this intercom, shall we? This is the first time I'm actually gonna use it. Thanks actually for sticking by me. I know this was a big shock, but I can explain. My parents were Sith, but the Emperor isn't my father. Child of the Emperor is just a title. Fancy title. I was taken from my parents when I was a baby. Raised in the Sith Academy with others like Vallis. It was... Brutal. We're gonna have to be compassionate. I like her. I can only imagine the pain you must have endured. Pain became normal. There were worse things. How could it Every get so worse? Every so often, the other children were taken to see our father. They came back different. Nobody ever remembered meeting the Emperor. So One day, nobody I realized I couldn't remember really. anything from the past week. They were doing the same thing to me. So you ran away. 
obviously. Starting to understand. You escaped the Sith, didn't you? Nobody treats me like a droid and gets away with it. I was still Feisty. a child then. Small enough to stow away on a supply ship leaving Imperial space. Lived in lots of bad places until I met Master Koix. She brought me to the Jedi. Changed my life. Does she know the truth? Did you tell Master Koix about your past? No. How would I even begin? Uh, by the way, I was born a Sith. Is that a problem? Hmm. It's the most direct Always way of saying it. Sooner or later, I'd have to come clean. Just hoped I could prove myself as a Jedi first. I think you've already now the Emperor knows enough where to I am. Me. The Sith will never stop hunting me. Oh man, is that dark side just for flirting with her? They'll take you over my dead body. I'm having a very inappropriate urge to kiss you. But I won't. This is the first dark side point again as a truth. Jedi. To Master Kawix, the Jedi Council, everyone. No more secrets. We should probably let the General know he's not getting his Admiral. Oh, well. I had a feeling that wasn't going to happen anyway. Ooh, lore. This is interesting lore. Okay. Uh, I'll just show this for a moment. I'll read this myself in a moment so nobody has to. I'll, uh, you can watch it. Okay, interesting, but I'll read it myself later. Nobody's interested. If you want to... Okay, like most people say, if you want to read back, that kind of Master. text, just pause if the video. If you detect the aroma of Alderanian nectar, I program the air circulators to simulate it. Oh, for Enjoy! Oh, for God's sake, shut up. Okay. Hollow Terminal. Let's see how he's going to take this. I wonder if he's going to be surprised. The Admiral was never here, General. This was a trap. Last. I'm sorry for putting you in harm's way on a lie. It won't happen again. You better. I'm afraid there's more bad news. Your Jedi Masters both missed their last two comm checks. Oh, great. That isn't like Master Kawix. What planet did you send her to? Tatooine. Master Orgus went to Alderaan. I need you to find out what's happened to them and our weapon labs. Uh... I have business on time. Understood, time. General. But first, I need to consult with the Jedi Council on an important matter. More important than saving the galaxy from Darth Angrel? I'd like to know what that is. The Sith are after my Padawan. It's a long story. A very, I'm very sure long it is. story. We have no time to waste. Finish this business quickly. Jesus. May the Force be with us all. Our suits were out. This is probably the part Let's where get Chapter this over 2 with. gets into Master Quix and Orgus need our help. I'll be meditating in my quarters. Let me know when we're at Tython. Sure. Well, guys, a lot of things just happened. And a shocking revelation. I got a Sif on board. Well, technically, she's not really a Sif, but you get the picture. This just shows how great this is. And I'm going to continue enjoying this till the very end of when I don't enjoy it. See you guys later. Probably on Typhon. Adios. So we've arrived on back. Typhon. <sighs> I wonder how this is going to go. How will the Jedi respond to discovering that my current so-called Padawan is a... Well, is a... Uh, is a former Sith. I have a feeling they're not going to take it well. Just sell some junk. Except for... Well, I can sell this. Ah, that's quite a few crits I got there. Finally, I can maybe get this... Speed, speeder ride skill and the speeder itself. Although I doubt that. Because I really want a speeder. Sprinting is a useful feature, but come on. Who doesn't want to have a speeder? Everybody wants a speeder. Though I do fear I might not have enough creds by that time. Actually, by myself. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me.
to the mailbox here, and apparently, while I was on my ship, I received a new mail. Lord Nefarith? Never heard of this guy before. Great, we're first gonna go for every one of Darth Angra's little lab dogs before we actually get to confront the great evil dude himself. Lovely. Well now that that is a, now that that's out of the way. Damn, but why is the frame rate in this place so crappy? Not that much of an impressive area. Okay, here we go. Oh wait. No, we'll do that afterwards. I'll get the skill, speeder skill afterwards. This is going to end not well. Master Satil, my mission has become more complicated. Masters Orgus and Kawix have disappeared. Shot. I'm headed for Tatooine and Alderaan to find them. But first, my Padawan has something important to tell you. Kira? I was born on Droman Cause. My parents were Sith. Ooh, much easier the second time. There's more, obviously. I should hope so. Give me time to assemble the council. Most of us are still off-world. This... she doesn't have to sound that happy. And then my she? master convinced me to come here and tell you. That's pretty much everything. We've heard rumors about these children of the Emperor before. But this finally confirms their existence. Oh boy. Troubling that we never sensed the truth about Kira and Master Kuix brought her to us. That makes her especially dangerous. She can't be allowed to remain free. Hey! Kira's master should have a voice in this. What do you recommend? Hmm. Nothing. The situation doesn't require a reaction. I just thought you should know the truth. And now that we know, we can't ignore the threat she represents to our entire order. Hey, come on! To allow Darth her to Revan remain a Padawan, Become a Jedi Knight? It's inconceivable. Is it? Did we not first learn of the children of the Emperor from a Sith turned to the light? Master Braga speaks the truth. No one is beyond redemption. I agree. It was natural for you to fear our reaction, considering your upbringing. What's important now is that you leave your past behind and devote yourself to the Jedi. Can you do that? I think she can. I've been trying to ever since Master Quix found me. It's true. Kira is a good Padawan. I trust her with my life. There you have it. I need no further proof of Kira's loyalty. <laughs> Agreed. And I believe the best course of action is to leave Kira where she is. This is a mistake. Yay. If Master Kawix were here, she'd tell you the same. Until she returns, this council's ruling stands. Kira is safest in your care. Thank you. I appreciate you giving her another chance. I promise I'll make you all proud. Even you, Master Caden. <laughs> you did well bringing this to us, but you should return to your mission. May I the Force be with to. you on Tatooine and Alderaan. Finally got this chapter behind me. Now I want to discover something. There's apparently something within the skill tree called the Legacy. It's apparently got something to do after chapter one. Isn't that concluded now? Yeah, very fancy, Mr. Sentinel, showing off your delight lightsabers. I still look more cooler. Ow. Uh, that's probably after I've used the ship's intercom, isn't it? But first, the speeder skill. And I'll actually sell these two pieces of crap. These are pure... Actually, no, I will not. I put them in my charcoal mold. To a banky. Thank you. Now, just one little question. How expensive is a speeder? First things I get, again, I'm gonna sell this piece of shit. I'm, that's a might mod. I'm a damn guardian. I need endurance. Might doesn't hurt. It doesn't mean it's bad, but it's way too focused on I need something that is in between. And I'm all of a sudden considered seeing that um, I'm walking in the wrong direction, and I'm still recording. Ah, well. <sighs> Maybe 
finally this first chapter is over with. I'm not saying it's a bad chapter. It was great. It was a whole lot of fun. But the fact of the matter remains is that it's about time we get started on the second chapter. At least I finally got my damn speeder. Uh, we'll go to the Republic. No, I can't. Okay, orbital station it is. that damn place, so I can get the hell off this planet. I'm not saying Typhon is bad, but being around Lola, Lois, uh, always makes me feel that I'm showing the plate buddy off. That's not how I want to roll. Just a quick reference, I want to check in the social to hide head slot. No, it's not not hidden. Sell the might mod. 125 credits. Lovely. Once again, moving on into the ship and use the intercom. I'm going to show you this little piece again. Jedi Knight. Jesus. Scared the crap out of me. Get to the ship and get the hell out of here. Kira's far from being bad, so she's former so she's a former Sith. She hasn't proven anything of a bad type to me. I mean, if you consider everything, she could have uh, she could have given in to her emotions and killed me outright. Because she's pissed she, she's taking orders from someone who just recently became a well, I'm not even sure if I am a master. <laughs> Stupid reference of in the uh, bar. There we go. Not the most impressive blast off, if I have to be honest. Back on the ship. Yay. Okay. Welcome back, Master. Your vessel is in flawless condition naturally. Hollow terminal. Just for a moment. Nope. So I have to use the intercom. Well. Might as well do so. Okay, who wants to have a little chat with me? Don't think I didn't notice the risk you took by standing up for me. I never felt this close to Master Kowix. Your support was... special. It was my pleasure. Anytime. I'm just glad we're staying a team. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Ready to go whenever you are, Master. Right, that's just going to be there. Ooh, just what I need. And that's definitely what I need. And a new lightsaber, which is in every, every way better than the one I have. Good to know. So, second implant. And a new lightsaber. Which looks boring as hell. Okay, that makes the weirdest sound in the world. Now that that's been taken care of. She wants to talk about something. Might as well do it now. While everybody's watching. Everybody needs to know it. <laughs> Ever wonder who you'd be if the Jedi hadn't taken you in? Not a clue. Uh, I'll go for the top. I was born to be a Jedi Knight. I could never be anything else. Life's a straight line, huh? That's very... you. Hey. You should be dead or worse a thousand times over. The first months after I escaped Korriban? <laughs> Exciting. Not easy staying alive when you're a ten-year-old Sith fugitive. No friends, no food, no home. Hmm. Hmm. How did you flee the Sith? Leaving Korriban sounds hard enough. How'd you manage that? Helps if you're small. A head for Imperial transport schedules doesn't hurt. One day, a big freighter dropped off slaves and left with a stowaway. Jumped ship on Nar Shadda. Spent eight years sleeping in alleys. Good times. Finally got caught stealing a starship hyperdrive. 
Should have seen Master Koek's face. <laughs> so that's how she got involved. I wondered how you two found each other. Stealing from a Jedi. That took some fortitude. Didn't know she was a Jedi. Lots of people wear robes. True. Still remember when Master Koek's realized I was force sensitive and asked me to be her Padawan. It was weird. I Nobody ever gave that. me a choice before. Still getting used to that. That's why we fight. If the Empire conquers the galaxy, freedom will be the first casualty. Mm -hmm. Along with Phaseball Mom and Sweet Flat Cakes. I get it. <laughs> Point is, I know what I'd be if I weren't a Jedi. And I'm never going back. And I'm gonna make sure of that. Yay! More chatting? Well, guys, this is none of your interest, so buzz off. <laughs>